Greetings to all. Let us continue with the characteristics of pressure exerted by a liquid. Second characteristic. Liquids exert pressure on the walls of the container. Let us understand this with the help of an activity. Take a bottle with a tap like opening at its side. Tie a balloon to the opening and fill the bottle with water. What do you observe? You will notice that the balloon bulges outwards. Now pour more water into the bottle so that the height of water column increases. Now again the size of the bulge increases. This shows that first liquids exert pressure on the walls of the container. The sideways pressure exerted by a liquid on the walls of the container is called lateral pressure. Second, the pressure exerted by a liquid on the walls of its container increases with increasing depth. This means lateral pressure increases with depth. Third characteristic, liquids exert equal pressure at the same depth. Let us understand this with the help of an activity. Take an empty plastic bottle. Drill some holes all around the bottle at the same distance from the bottom. Now fill the bottle with water. What do you observe? You can see that water coming out from all the holes falls at the same distance from the bottle. This shows that liquids exert equal pressure at the same depth. Fourth characteristic. The pressure exerted by a liquid increases with depth. Let us understand this with an help of an activity. Take an empty plastic bottle. Make some holes along its side at different heights from the base. Now pour more water into the bottle. What do you observe? We can see jet coming out from the top hole falls very close to the bottle whereas jet coming out from the bottom hole falls far away from the bottle. This shows that liquid pressure increases with the increasing depth.